Hello friends, welcome to another sneak in video. Today we are near Glastonbury, UK, where we're going to be attempting to sneak into the UK's biggest music festival. This one I have planned. All right, I've joined the Facebook groups. I've been texting everybody, been trying to get wristbands. I actually got photos of real wristbands and I sent them to someone to try to make fake wristbands, but it turns out they have UV sensors at the event where they can tell if it's a real wristband or a fake wristband. Um, security at Glastonbury is 10 out of 10. It's supposed to be very good. Basically the plan is to go when it's really crowded um, and just walk in behind someone with like a big backpack and then hopefully they don't see me. But I'm coming a day late, so I don't think it's gonna be crowded. So we might be fucked on that front. Um, another option is some people get ladders and just climb up this big fence, it's like 15 feet high, they get a huge ladder, jump down, probably rupture their kneecaps, and they have to sprint to a next, another fence, climb a 10 foot fence, find a way to get through security. <sighs> it sounds like breaking out of a goddamn high security prison, but the sneaking culture is really strong among the Brits. So I imagine I can just show up and ask somebody what they're gonna do to sneak in, or maybe ask to get a wrist, like pass back a wristband, or. I don't really know, man, but uh, we're gonna find out, so <laughs> let's hit it. All right, folks, welcome to Glastonbury. I'm approaching the entrance, and I don't have a plan. I don't think this is gonna be easy. Um, they do, I could do the wristband pass back, but first of all, I need to make a friend. And when they leave the festival, they get a pass out and then you have to show the ticket stub when you go back in. So I'm not sure um, how to do that. All right, the plan is I'm just gonna walk in, bro. I'm just gonna walk in. Whew, can you tell I'm nervous? And then when they ask where my ticket is, I'll say someone on the inside has it. Worst they can say is no. security festival in the world. Look, there's the prison fence. I just walked in. They were they were checking. <laughs> I'm speechless. They were checking everybody's tickets and I just walked behind them. Oh my god. I just walked in. Jesus Christ. I just walked in. What is this? badge that I have. Oh my god, I just walked in. Oh no, alright, cheers, thank you, thank you. I just, I just walked in. Guys, that was so easy, okay. I'm speechless. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? What is this uh, lanyard I have? I have a lanyard. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Alright. Cool. 
cool. Holy fuck. I'm just gonna just walked right in the front door. Didn't have to break in. Didn't have to tunnel under the fucking festival. Didn't have to beat up any cops. I'm talking real quiet because I am still nervous. I don't have a wristband. <laughs> that was so easy. <laughs> that was so easy. And we're here on uh, at the beginning of the festival, guys. No main acts have gone on yet. The festival starts tomorrow. Kendrick Lamar is going on Sunday. Paul McCartney is going on Saturday. Billie Eilish, who I'm slightly less excited about, but. <laughs> so I walked in and there were two or three security checkpoints in air quotes. And um, as they were checking the people in front of me, when they were setting their bags down, he was looking at their ticket. I just walked away. I didn't like blast through, obviously. I made it look like I was complying. I put a few things down check my pockets and then when he was busy I just kept walking all the locals made it sound like it's some fucking feat some superpower to get in here but your boy just walked in all right so I might be slightly limited with my no wristband situation I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get a camping spot but I do worry about the rest of the festival because it's like four or five days I guess avoiding people All right, guys, I just hatched a brilliant plan. I had the bright idea months ahead of time. Yes, it's the only time I've probably planned ahead in my life. I was working an event and there was a wristbanded event and I snagged some wristbands. And look, it's purple. It's uh, similar to the color of the real wristband. So um, hopefully this will last me for a while. I snuck in and I'm wondering if they're no. gonna check wristbands. You know what I mean? If where, you, where? If you leave. Oh, but to go to campsites, to go to concerts, like, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Why did you manage it? Well done. Thank you, thank you. I got a fake wristband, though. Do you think it, it's convincing? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we just set up our tent here at Glastonbury. It's a sight to be seen. Let's check it out. All right. So we got my fucking comforter I just bought from the store. It was $10. Got a box of $11 wine here. It's disgusting. I'm gonna use it as a pillow later. I got my $25 tent here. It probably has all kinds of problems that I, I don't know about yet, but uh, yeah, let's to find out over the weekend. <laughs> all right, guys, got all my shit set up. Let's go cause some mayhem. Are you? Yeah, I'm, hey. I'm feeling okay, I think. <laughs> It feels if I was, I need a bit of a lift or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> you seem perfect to me, man, you seem perfect to me. <laughs> Life's good, mate. Life yeah, is right. good. You can't complain about it. Yeah. Well, you can't complain in life in general. <laughs> I don't, but I don't say anything, but, you know, I'm a bit wee bit wee bit <laughs>
So right now I am desperately hungover from two or three days of partying. So I'm headed to a different part of the festival. It's called Healing Fields, where it's more restorative vibes. I'm gonna get a free meal from the Hare Krishna people. Those are the, the Indian folks we were dancing with at Stonehenge. Yeah, today's all about recovery. Well, this afternoon is about recovery because tonight we're gonna be degenerates again. Are you guys in line for the curry? Sorry? What are you guys queuing for? Our food. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. Please, yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Man. So, how did you, how did you get in originally? That's amazing. Yeah. And then once you're in, you got the fake wristband. Yeah. Well, I Can I see it again? Yeah. I haven't even, I haven't needed to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I love the sneaking culture here, bro. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I am having a moment right now. Look at where we are right now. We are one of the best music festivals in the world. This is, place is huge. There's all kinds of amazing bands going on tonight. This is just a hub of culture. There's a lot of culture happening. Behind me are some ancient stones, a stone configuration, much like Stonehenge. Forgive my disheveled look. I haven't showered in many days. All right, let's go enjoy some music. Also, shout out Hare Krishna, bro. You know how many hungry people people they fed today, including myself? Shout out Hare Krishna. Let's go in there and shake someone's hand. Hey, thank you guys for everything today. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. No problem. You're welcome. Come thank back tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Just come back and take some bananas as well. Thank you, bro. Why do you guys, why do, you guys do it? Why do you do it? What's yeah. Food? Yeah, just everything. Yeah, well, it's like... Well, I can know with the food, um, we like prepare it in a way which we like cook it with love and devotion. So yeah. Like, yeah. We like spiritualize the food. So like using the spiritual food. Yeah. Like race consciousness. Oh, nice, bro. Have you had some of the food? Yeah, I ate there earlier today. Nice, nice. Yeah, thank you for everything, bro. Yeah, no yeah. All right, man. Yeah, same. Have a nice Thanks. You guys, one of my favorite artists is playing at a huge venue in the middle of the park. It's about to go down. I feel like by getting in here, I've snuck into like 10 amazing events at once. This is a dream come true. Ooh, look, storybook setting, storybook. Glastonbury, the world's greatest festival. Right now we're in the circus area. Over there, there's a yoga, meditation, cacao ceremony area. 
over the hill is a stone circle where a bunch of hippies congregate. The list goes on. This place is like a hundred festivals in one. Well, it's the last day. We're gonna make the most of it. Snarky Puppy, one of the greatest bands in the world, goes on at 5 p.m. And then tonight at 9.45 is Kendrick Lamar, who needs no introduction. No matter what happens today, it's going to be a good day. We're in Glastonbury, we've already won. <laughs> I got a good feeling about this one. Let's see what happens. It's a full on parade. It's a full on parade. Oh shit, it keeps, it keeps going back. That was just the start of it. It's a full on parade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brilliant. Okay. Thank you so much. Great. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Cheers. Great. Enjoy it. Thank it's you. very you. Thank you. I feel it's it. So I feel you. it. It's so you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. It's so you. Thank you. Thank you. Could be better. <laughs> Perfect. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. When I was in there, I realized I have my shirt on backwards. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep it, bro. It's in the festival spirit to have a backwards shirt. <laughs> One thing I'm amazed about is uh, the sneak-in culture at this, at this place. Uh, People love sneaking in. Yeah. Well, when I was a teenager, I couldn't afford to come, so that's exactly what I did. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever paid. <laughs> ah, it's amazing! I mean, there's something for everybody. Yeah, everybody's welcome, sort of thing. Nobody gives a shit who you are or what you wear. Yeah, exactly. Like, today I wore a backwards shirt. My shirt's yeah. backwards on accident. I'm like, fuck it, I'm not changing it. <laughs> the first day, you know, I got, because I, I've never been, so I went, like, really hard, drinking, smoking. And the next day, I was like, I don't think I can do that again. It's like, <laughs> well, you don't have to. Like, you can go yeah. get a massage. You can go like exactly. Hare Krishna and just like. You can go and chill out. How's it going, man? Hey, good, you? Hey, man. You good? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. So people, they try and expand the consciousness through drugs, but actually it's not required. There's a natural method which doesn't require any drugs and it's just through chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. The reason being is the mantra, the words of the mantra are spiritual. We invite you all to keep this mantra in your heart and after Glastonbury, you just keep it in your heart and when you go to sleep at night, when you wake up in the morning, throughout the day, just chant this mantra over and over again and you'll see what happens. Your consciousness will expand. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So that was a drug interaction chart actually gave useful information on drugs not to combine and uh, yeah drug safety that's the future guys because <laughs> at festivals people will take drugs <laughs> it's just a matter of doing it properly and next to all the drug information on how to take as many drugs as possible and not die we have a kid's sandbox love the contrast here <laughs> I think we found the cult, guys. I think all those guys just drank the Kool-Aid and died.
well guys that's it from glastonbury 2022 thank you to all the lovely people i met along the way who took me in as one of their own even though i came alone i was able to make a ton of friends so thank you to everybody much love to you guys until next time peace